I don't paint in a style that is similar to other people that I've seen. I feel it's quite unique and, uh, and I think that's a product of having no training as a painter. I basically decided to start painting in a way that I found visually uh, most satisfying for myself and developed a style that, uh, that I'm pleased with. I try to push boundaries in every possible level with each portrait I do and certainly color would be on the top of the list and it's amazing to me how many different combinations of colors can be, can be put together. Uh, it's always surprising to me. To me there's no end of colors in this world and any combination is a brand new thing. I just am in absolute love with color and, uh, and like to get as much emotion and impact out of it as I possibly can. The Canadian uh, Sports Heroes Collection has been the, uh, the primary goal for the, for the past 12 years. It was really an attraction to the uh, to painting athletes that I followed when I was younger and who I had tremendous respect for. I had a great time when I met with Ian. Uh, he was very accommodating, very, very generous with his time. And uh, we sat down uh, for about two hours and just chatted about all kinds of subjects and we just continued that general kind of conversation uh, uh, throughout the drawing itself. If you just sit back and listen and watch and look at facial expressions that uh, uh, you can try and get a, a feeling of, of who the person is. The sketch itself is more informational. Uh, you know, kind of the, the basic roots of the, of the portrait. Uh, but uh, the information that, that I get in talking is far more important. When I get back to my studio, I take the drawing and work on it a bit more. Clean up some areas and change some areas until I'm satisfied with the uh, basic drawing that I have then that will get enlarged to be transferred onto the, the board. And once it's transferred onto the board, uh, really it's a matter of redrawing again. And then the painting begins. I generally do start with the eyes. Uh, I don't know why, but I do. And uh, in moving out from that, I like every color uh, that, is, that is applied to react uh, in a positive way to the color that's next to it. And if you move throughout the painting, uh, anywhere you look, you, I would hope that if you picked out any color and forgot about the image entirely, if you just picked out a color, all the colors around it would work to the best advantage. Once I've filled in the last piece of white, I generally go away for a few days or a week and then come back and look at it with new eyes. And I've found over the years that uh, if there are any small changes to make, uh, they're very small. Coming back in and seeing it uh, again, the first thing that hits me is, wow, that was a lot of work. And that gives me a great deal of pleasure. I try to produce a timeless portrait where they are recognizable as, uh, as who they are as people and whether elements of their sport come into it, uh, that's not really something that's considered. When I looked at the whole collection, I found it so interesting how you capture personality uh, through an expression, because mainly through the eyes. He has confidence in the way he holds himself and conducts himself. Uh, 
He has confidence in his opinions. And there's a, a real gentleness about him as well that, uh, uh, that I found was, was, was very nice, that it seemed to fit in with everything that he was saying. I found that he loves his family. He loves his horses. He loves that hard work that occurs in the day-to-day -day business uh, of running a ranch and, and training riders and training horses. He's a man who believes in excellence and he expects excellence from people around him. But most importantly for me, uh, he seemed to be a man who was comfortable in a cowboy hat, even more comfortable in a cowboy hat than he is in, the, in his red jacket. He's an icon in Canadian sport as an Olympian and uh, on the world circuit as well. He deserves to be a part of this collection without any question.